people of Reddit who work in a casino. What's some of the saddest moments you witnessed? I worked at a casino as a dealer through college. A lot of incidents were pretty sad. Especially with regulars that you liked. One regular would tell me about his middle school age kids. And then I would realize the next week or so later that he was missing their school plays recitals etc because he was at the tables. I remember working an overnight one Christmas Eve and begging him to go home when 6 stroke 7 am rolled around because his kids would be up and opening presents. Other times just people screaming at you for stealing their mortgage payments from them that month. Then seeing them back again the next day. Jeez. That's really depressing. Are you allowed to encourage people to leave the tables? Or are you told not to do that? During my 8 hour shift a gentleman won $15,000 on a slot machine. Punched out at end of shift and had the next 2 days off. Returned to work after my weekend to find the man still sitting at the same slot machine. He had been there for 2 plus days losing $15,000. If you win that much money. Pretty much have the mentality in which you will never win this much again. I live next to Atlantic City and when I'm up like $50 I walk out of the casino and play in the ocean for a few hours. I always feel as if the casino paid me to have a fun beach day. We used to have a woman who would be on the blackjack tables for 5 days nights straight. Her husband would call and tell her that her kids wanted her home. Her boss actually came to the casino to try and get her to leave. She was missing work. I don't know what happened to her but she's probably ruined her life. We also had a few regulars commit suicide and a few go to jail. How did she still have a job if she was regularly missing weeks of work though? It's been about 15 years. But I worked in one for about 4 years the one that stands out was a woman who came from the country to the big city to get Xmas gifts for the whole family, including young kids who still believed in Santa and all of that but spent all of the Christmas money at the casino before going to the mall. Also, a few years later I went back to visit. And when talking to one of the pit bosses about who was still there and what not, she told me one of my old regulars, who was actually nice and likable, a rare trait in that business, had recently committed suicide as a result of gambling too much. Addiction is a horrible disease. Former valet at a casino. The amount of daily regulars who drove barely functioning vehicles full of trash, roaches, and rats who would actually valet their car and go gamble away any money they had to their name was honestly depressing. The saddest I remember was a 90 plus year old lady who drove a 91 Corolla and when we got in her car we realized she had no power steering fluid at all and her steering wheel would barely turn. I have no earthly idea how her frail arms could turn it. We went and bought her some before she left that evening. That was really nice of you to do. My mom works as a dealer at a casino and has told me multiple stories of grown men wearing adult diapers at the table so they don't have to leave to use the restroom. I can't even imagine how shitty it must feel to walk back to your room in a fully loaded diaper after losing over 5k. Edit, thanks for the gold. Now imagine the smell. In general. People who come for the first time and are super nice and friendly. They don't care about winning or losing much just came to have fun. They come back a few more times. Then after a few years they are regulars that don't smile anymore. They don't laugh. They don't count their wins. Just their losses. And sweat every comp point they earn and act like gambling is their job now and the focus of their life. I've seen more than one person have this happen to them. The other saddest thing is when a regular stops coming in and their spouse comes out and tells us they passed. We're almost family with some of our regulars and it hurts to get bad news. My favorite regulars were this sweet little old couple. They'd come in a couple times a week. And unlike a lot of regulars they just came to have fun for a few hours. They didn't spend much and were happy whether they won or lost. If I was there they'd always specifically come to me. They really did feel like family. About a year ago they just stopped coming. I have no way of knowing why. I really do miss them and hope they are okay. Edit. After reading some of your comments I decided to google them in several pages and I found the obituary for who I'm 99% sure was the husband of the couple. He had the same name. Same wife's name. 
same area. It sounds like he had a lot of family and friends. It also said he was a holocaust survivor which I had no idea about. He was always in such good spirits. I'd hope that wasn't why they'd stop coming but at least I know now. We had to evacuate and close down for the rest of the day due to a burst pipe causing no running water. When I walked outside there was an elderly lady throwing a legit tantrum in the parking lot. She was on the ground kicking and screaming. Her scream sounded like something you'd expect from someone who just lost a family member. Not someone who had to leave the casino for a few hours. I left but some of the security who were dealing with her told me later she was too upset to drive home and they had to call a family member to pick her up. I've seen some shit. A lot of what others have commented is fairly common but this was definitely the most messed up. Sheesh. It's literally an addict in withdrawal. Grandmother. Mother. And daughter heading to the casino by car from 2 hours away. Mother had a postcard to get a free cast iron pan for showing up. Daughter is more than 8 months pregnant. One hour away from the casino daughter starts to have labor pains. Mother won't stop and take her to the hospital. She's gotta have that, $10, pan. They arrive at the casino an hour before the promotion was going to start. Mother raises all hell trying to get her pan but the workers for the promo haven't arrived yet. Daughter ends up having to be transported by ambulance to the hospital. All over a $10 pan. Did she ever get the pan? I don't work in a casino. But live near Atlantic City. Seeing an attended children playing near the entrance to the casino floor where children aren't allowed. You brought your kids to a casino where kids aren't allowed, and just, left them in a hallway. I went to a casino for the first time a few years ago with a group for my mother-in-law's birthday. There were signs everywhere stating that it is a crime to leave children unattended in your car in the parking lot. Pretty ducking sad. Worked in a casino for about 7 years and the one that has always stuck with me was when a kid, 18 stroke 19, came with his friends and lost $100 playing blackjack. Then he was sitting there, looking dejected and watching his friends win. He left and came back with another $100. I could tell from the way he was acting he probably didn't have the original $100 to lose so he definitely couldn't afford to lose another $100. So I asked if he was sure he wanted to play. He nodded his head and solemnly said yes. Unfortunately he lost that money too. 200 is a lot better than what I've read so far. Hopefully he learned something that day. A previous boss of mine worked at a casino in AC. He said he saw all kinds of terrible things but the worst was when they had to close the main lobby cause a guy jumped from the 4th floor after losing. Jesus. How much did he lose? A woman approximately mid 30s dancing her ass off on the dance floor of the nightclub. And suddenly dropped dead. I watched her die. All the time a VIP booth was packed. Drinks flowing. Everybody picking on the guy that passed out. End of night comes and they tell us he is going to need a wheelchair, not uncommon. Guy was dead a good hour. The deaths always bug me. Casinos get a treatment similar to airports. The unspoken rule is to treat them as if alive until they get off the premises. Even if they are an hour dead. The goal is to get them out as quickly as possible without freaking out the patrons. New Year's was always stressful. It was never a question if someone would die that night. It was a question of how many. A good year would be one. One year we had four. Fun fact, similarly. No one ever officially dies at Disney World. I did casino security for three years before I became a police officer. Had a code M, medical, early early one morning. Around 4 or 5 AM. Old guy in his 80s passed out and fell out of his chair. Wife sitting next to him. I was the first to get to him did a quick assessment and found he didn't have a pulse. Immediately started CPR. The old lady looked over and said oh he does this all the time. Don't worry about him, between chest compressions. I told her he wasn't breathing and she just kept playing her a lot machine. She didn't miss a spin even when the paramedics took him away. I saw her again the next night and asked how he was doing. With the straightest face ever. She said. Oh he never woke up. 
I'm sure he's in a freezer by now. And went right back to the same machine she was playing the night before. This is the worst one yet. And I've been through that whole thread. There were these two middle aged Greek or Cypriot ladies who were always on the slot machines. Every day when I started my shift they were there and they were there when I finished 10 hours later. And still they're in the same clothes the next day oftentimes. They were super nice and always polite to the staff. One day they hit the jackpot and win big. I think it was either 15,000 pounds or 45,000 pounds. It was a good few years ago now. Everyone was overjoyed for them, except the managers obviously. Well the managers then gave them free meals at the restaurant and an open bar tab until every single penny of that money was clawed back into the casino. Standard operating procedure. Winners who are signed up for casino memberships get mailed free stays and other various freebies to keep them returning to the casino. My old roomie went to Vegas to party. She gambled for kicks but knew better to treat it as fun not a monetary risk. We'd laugh when we got the casino freebies sent to our mail in Canada. I wasn't a casino employee. But I was an EMT in a certain beach town on the east coast that could be described as bargain bin Vegas. On a given shift we would probably field 3 or 4 casino calls. More in the summer. It was pretty soul crushing. Most calls were alcohol related or obvious slip and fall scams. But occasionally we would happen upon some real tragedies. Suicide attempts. ODs. Grapes. A assaults happened with depressing frequency. This one sticks with me the most though. One day we had a call for a woman in her 70s sitting at the slots experiencing chest pain around 2am. She refused treatment despite being in bad shape. We pleaded and begged. And even had the on-call cardiologist talk to her on the phone. But she was on a streak and wouldn't hear it. An hour later we were back doing CPR. She died right there in front of the same slot machine. With a receipt for $7 in winnings. Super ducked. The amount of employees we had to treat for exhaustion or diabetic related emergencies due to them not having enough breaks to manage their blood sugars was also super ducked. Duck that town. The most depressing shifts I ever did as a medic were when I had the casino shift. I only covered it a few times but, damn was it depressing getting there at the start of my shift and seeing people lined up in the morning just waiting for the doors to open. Not a casino worker. But I know of a guy who sold his car to Lone Shark Pimp after losing $80,000 in 2 days. He even went to the DMV and transferred the title to a prostitute. Then when he got out of his fog. He used his spare key and found the car. He took it. He was pulled over for driving a stolen vehicle. Not sure how his court case went. Wow. Talk about your. Dangerous liaisons. Not a casino but a charity poker room at a bowling alley where I was a dealer. Guy was pretty drunk and just so bad at poker. Kept losing the max buy in, $300, and would go straight to the ATM and rabuai. With every rabuai the desperation became greater and greater. I just wanted to tell him to pack it up before he lost more but that would have probably cost me my job. Eventually I think he must have emptied his bank account. I had never seen someone lose so much money in one night. I was on a cruise when I was 18. First time gambling on a casino and learning a little blackjack. I was at the $10 minutes, I think max was $300, table and was betting the minimum each hand. The guy across the table was drunk and betting the max each hand. I watched him split, double down, and lose over and over and over. He just kept making stupid calls and must have lost $20,000 in about 15 minutes. Former poker dealer at a casino. An older gentleman started to have a heart attack at the table. I called the floor person for assistance with the call button. Paramedics are rushed in ETC. All within minutes. I'm this instance I am instructed to keep the game rolling by the floor person as he whispered in my ear. Her hands are dealt and played and a player at the table requested the heart attack guy get moved somewhere else as it is disrupting the game. Another player asked to have his chips picked up and call for the open seat because we have a wait list. I was disgusted. I saw a poker dealer have an epileptic seizure at the table. 
the paramedics hadn't even arrived before players were complaining about getting another dealer or requesting a table change. While the dealer was seizing on the floor next to them. Not a casino employee. My story comes from my time in the military. Slot machines are everywhere in Germany. The small post I was on had a few slot machines in a back room of the bowling alley. One of our uncos would go every payday and blow his entire paycheck over lunch. We would know if he won or not by the mood he was in after lunch. When he won he would tell us about winning $600 after dropping $1500 into the machine. I saw that happen a lot in Okinawa as well. There was an co in my barracks that would hit up the junior enlisted for 20 bucks at a time when he was on a streak. Not a casino. But the most horrible thing I remember hearing about a girl. In the army. Stationed in GA. She had a newish baby. And would buckle baby in the car seat and drive across the bridge to SC to gamble. It gets hot as hell in GA. And this woman one day went to the casino. Parked her car on the far side of the parking lot. Just past or behind a dumpster. Other patrons remember her getting up occasionally and looking out the door but being there pretty much the whole entire day. That evening when she drove back on base she looked in the back seat and noticed that the baby was clearly in distress. Baby had in fact been dead for some hours was in very bad shape eyes bulging. Weird bubbles coming out of its mouth, just damn awful. She left her infant in the car seat to bake to death in the sun. While she gambled her military pay away. Absolutely disgusting. This is so horrible. A guy blew his retirement and had to go back to work. He was a retired postmaster and went back as a delivery driver. Edit, I'm starting to feel my job isn't all that boring. I've got another sadder. Darker story from my casino employment in here somewhere. Oh no. It's not the big things. It's the little things. You see someone rocking three machines at 9am on a Tuesday? They have places they ought to be. Not in this casino. Thanksgiving. Christmas. Hell. Even Mother's Day. Place is loud. Go home people. I remember leaving mass one Mother's Day and upon pulling up to the nearby intersection where a Trillennium Casino was. We saw a 20 something man helping his aging mother into the casino. My dad narrated the conversation that likely took place beforehand as. Son. Happy Mother's Day mom. What would you like to go do? Mom. I wanna play the slats. Son. Very well. Mother. Let's go to the casino. Is there anything else you'd like to do today? Mom. I wanna play the slats. Don't work in a casino. But I go to a smaller casino here in Vegas where a lot of locals go to play. Lady hits 40k on an Akino game. After she got paid out she was walking around giving all her friends and people she chats with $100 bills. I left shortly after because I just go to buy smokes and play my change here and there so I'm not sure if she played more that night. About a week later she was in there playing every time I went in to buy smokes so I'm sure that money disappeared quickly. Parents used to own a small casino, 15ish tables. $100 limits. I worked weekends in the cage. Employees were allowed to gamble once off shift. And I watched one guy. After getting off of work around 7 p.m. Proceed to lose his house payment. Car payment. Child support. Max out his credit cards. Everything by the time we closed at 6 a.m. I wasn't a huge gambler before that. But seeing that first hand scared me off of taking any chances in a casino beyond casual playing. Comma Z not a casino story. However in NC gambling hasn't always been legal. A few years ago I was helping manage a local grocery store and we had a regular. She was always pleasant. Always got her things and left quickly, until the scratch off dispensing machine was installed. Within less than a month she went from chipper old blonde lady to the strange wrinkled witch at the scratch off machine. She'd spend her entire month's social security within a few minutes. Scurry to the next store to test her luck and come back to me. It was an everyday thing that came out of nowhere. She spent her brother's prescription money and begged me to sell her a powerball ticket because she might win him some chemo and he'd be thankful. Needless to say that was one of my last lottery sales. 
I don't work at a casino. But I have family that are farmers in a rural part of my state where a casino was built on an Indian reservation. Many. 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 Of my family's neighbors bet and lost their entire farms. And my great uncle and his neighbor had purchased a very expensive piece of farm equipment together that they shared that ended up being repossessed because of the neighbor's gambling. My uncle was out thousands and was pissed. A couple that used to come gamble at a casino I worked at held themselves after losing too much money. Same casino had a patron whose son came in to tell her to stop and that she couldn't keep gambling the family's money away. She would easily lose over 10,000 on a lot of days she went in. You get pretty desensitized to the plight of the gambler at your table but the double suicide and the yelling son stuck with me. I went to a casino once and in the washroom there was a grown man bawling his eyes out telling me he lost everything. It still haunts me how utterly destroyed this guy looked. Very. Very sad. This was 20 years ago and I haven't stepped foot in one since. Guy hit a jackpot for $30,000. In my area that is life changing money. He was supposed to go see his son in a different state. He went to a different casino and lost the jackpot and then some. He didn't go see his son. He didn't go to the job that he makes 2-3k a week at. He stayed at the casino for a week and lost his job. He lost his truck that he was sleeping in. IDK what happened to him after he was evicted for sexually harassing any woman that walked past him. Edit, it should be 2-3k a month not week. Sorry. I worked with a woman who would piss away an entire 2 week paycheck within 15 minutes after getting off work and then she'd start writing checks and hitting the ATM right after. Her family was ruined eventually and things got so bad for them financially that her husband healed himself. She got a life insurance settlement or some sort of fund upon his death and blew it all gambling within a month. Her dad died not long after and left her inheritance and she lost all that within 2 months. No idea whatever happened to her but she was absolutely insane.